Now let's run our TACMAN array card. So as you see, these cards are stable at room temperature. They ship that way, and you can store them that way. And here's how the product looks when it first comes out of the box. Something of note, all the TACMAN cards are barcoded with both the part number and the lot number. I will now open up the card. Okay. And here is the card. I'll pop it out. Comes with a little desiccator. And you can see now this is what the TACMAN array card looks like. We have up here eight different ports. And each of these ports corresponds to 48 different wells. In each of these different wells is a dried down TACMAN assay. The fill ports have two different holes. One is to fill, the other is an air port. So this is a very simple procedure. You fill up each of these eight ports. You've pipetted eight different times. And now you're going to be interrogating um, 384 different spots. Depending on the format of the card, would depend on how many samples and how many genes you can look at. So now we're ready to load the card. And it's really quite simple. Each of the different ports is labeled one through eight. So I have the one closest to me. And the pipetman is set to 100 microliters because that's the amount I'm going to put into each of the ports. And I'll also bring in my sample, which is just here. And now I'm ready to load the card. So what I will do is go into the larger of the fill ports, add in the pipette tip, and pipette my sample. Finished. And now I will go into the next fill port, which is for number two. Add in the pipette men, pipette my sample. Done. It's as easy as that. And there we go. All eight ports are filled, and we're ready to take it to the next step. The liquid now, once it's centrifuged, will go down this little port, and it will fill in all 48 wells for each of the different eight ports. So the way that we do this is we bring in our centrifuge holder. So now let me take this out. I'll move the card so you can see this. It's very easy. We say this side out. We then place the card into here. And then simply centrifuge it so that the liquid fills in all of the different holes. OK, now we're back from the centrifuge. And I will remove my card. And you can see that the liquid is here towards the bottom of the fill port. The rest of the liquid, which is the sample in the master mix, is now down into the card. And now we're ready to seal the card. I'll bring in the sealing device. Here you can see it here. What I will do now is add the card upside down. There's only one way the card can fit. And now I'm going to push forward. And the card is sealed. We'll remove it from here. Now I'm going to cut off the top where the fill ports were. Done. We're ready to run the card on the VS7.